Think about all the great breakthroughs that have led to people living to 70 and 80 years instead of 30 and 40 years, and they are all public health interventions. Vaccination, smoking reduction, sanitation, lots of health is not determined by the medical care you get, but by where you live and your lifestyle and your life habits, and that's all in the, in the area of public health. We work with a variety of disciplines from basic science to social sciences, policy, behavioral health, psychology, in order to accomplish those goals of uh, preventing disease, prolonging life, and promoting a long, healthy life. It's not just health care, but it's other areas that people do not understand um, that public health plays a huge role in, like in the environment or um, politics, for instance. What gravitated me towards the program was its complexity of being able to work and be able to still manage the program and be able to do well in the program. That helped a whole lot. If I was to talk to somebody who was working full-time for the state or working full-time in general and thinking about coming back and getting a Master's of Public Health, I would definitely recommend it. It certainly felt a little daunting, but once I got into the program and found that it was exactly what I needed to move forward, uh, it, was in, it was very motivating. Uh, I love the culture in the program. Everybody's willing to help each other. Uh, the faculty is very supportive. If you need anything, they're always there to help you. Uh, I love that there's this internship that we have to do, and it's been very helpful for me specifically. My internship was extremely beneficial for career, future career opportunities. Um, I actually went on to work at the Florida House of Representatives in the Health and Human Services Committee as a legislative analyst, so it gave me direct exposure to that world, which I then was officially a part of later on in my career. This is probably the best program that you can go into and get out within two years and not have a shadow of a doubt that you're gonna get through it.